Hi everybody, it's Julie here and today I have a short little uh, video for you showing my process putting together this little memory keeping scrapbooking page spread in my traveler's notebook. So I keep uh, one insert per month in my TN and then I have some other inserts but in this monthly one I have a calendar where I plan and I also have weekly pages and when those are, because there's like uh, six or seven spreads depending on the week, um, the rest of the notebook or insert I do some memory keeping in and I really really like this. Uh, I was looking through my other uh, notebooks or inserts the other day and I really really realized how much I love having these little scrapbook pages or memory keeping pages in my traveler's notebook. Um, it really sort of captures that, you know, those tiny moments that I don't, wouldn't scrapbook like on the big 12 by 12 page, but they sort of make its way in here and I really love looking back on those. So here is one of those very small moments. It is the joy of finding out that summer is finally here and I can finally say hello to summer. So. If you live in the northern world, <laughs> um, I myself live in Scandinavia, more exactly in Sweden, the west coast, not west coast, an hour from the coast uh, of Sweden, and uh, it's taking a long time to get, like, the spring was not fun, it was raining and raining and raining. Um, so when finally you can actually see flowers beginning to bloom, that was like, okay, it's summer. It's officially summer <laughs> um, and that makes me very very happy because I love summer so uh, I just wanted to sort of document that this is an in June book usually this should happen like in May but anyway like I said horrible spring <laughs> so it makes it all the most special so I really wanted to do that um, so yeah, the background, I should probably tell you about that. Um, I was in the studio the other day, painting, had some paints that I was accidentally mixing up. Uh, and I was like, ooh, this paint looks really nice. It was an accident because I don't know what I was mixing. I was like, I really like this paint. Um, and then I just grabbed what I was near. My traveler's notebook is always near. So I started to do some doodling, some leaves here. And I was like, oh, it looks really nice. So I decided to use that and then put the photo on top of it. And I really like how that sort of um, gray green color looks together with the pink tag and the purple flower. Really like that. Um, I don't know what color the watercolor is. I think I was trying to mimic one of the Daniel Smith colors or if I did the color and then looked at the chart to see if there was someone close to it. Like I said, when I paint, I'm in a bit of a haze, so, <laughs> but I really like it. Uh, I really should uh, find out what color that is so I can mix it again. It would be a pretty good idea. Uh, sometimes when I paint, I sort of wake up and like, oh, how did that happen? And then I have painted something, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just journaling about how much I love the summer and that is finally here. And yeah, I really wanted to keep it very light in colours, uh, bring in some black for contrast, just to sort of have that feeling of uh, happiness, I suppose. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Here, ta-da, is the finished bread. I'm sorry about the colours in the photo, it was a bit horrible. But yeah, I'm really happy with this spread. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you liked the video and that you will check back soon.